World Slash is a pretty bad move, with very little application in an actual fight. This video is going to go over why it's not good in the first place, and also why it's not necessarily a bad thing, and why the move might be better off as a bad novelty than something that's actually viable in combat. I'll split the reasons for this move being bad into two sections, the first being the move itself, and the second being opportunity cost. Let's start with the move itself. World Slash is an unblockable AoE that deals around 90% damage to anyone it hits, as well as ragdolling them. Using it puts every single move that Tsukuna has, except for Domain Expansion, on cooldown, and the move itself has a noticeably long startup, as well as being interruptible. In a nutshell, it's a high windup, high cost, high damage move. In theory, that sounds fine. You're taking a big risk and sacrificing a lot of your moveset to put your opponent on death's door. But here's the problem. It's very easy to just interrupt or run from it. The range isn't huge, and the startup, despite CZ's buff to it, is still easily interruptible. Sure, it can land against people who don't understand the move and react in the wrong way, but if you use the move immediately after getting a ragdoll with your M1s, they're still going to have plenty of time to interrupt it if they're quick on the draw, and if you simply use it in neutral, it gets even easier. Since if they're up close, they can just hit you, and if they're far away, all they have to do is walk backwards. The move has no guaranteed methods to land it, which makes sense considering how much damage it does, but it still makes it pretty much impossible to use against good people. If that was all though, it would simply be another option Sukuna has. A fifth move, in a sense. But that's not all, and that brings me to the second reason this move is terrible, which is Opportunity Cost. Opportunity Cost is defined as a loss of potential gain from other alternatives where one alternative is chosen. In a nutshell, it means how much you lose out on by taking option A over option B, and for World Slash, it's all the damage you lose out on from going for the move over simply using all your other moves in a combo. World Slash consumes Dismantle, Open, Rush, and the Grab to deal the damage it does, but if you just use those moves together in a combo string, then you can get this. What's more, up until the part where I use open, this combo is completely true. Or at least sort of true if you don't take into account your opponent awakening or using hollow purple when you try using rush after the grab. It also has no risk to it, both because it's a true combo and because the fire arrow at the end is pretty much impossible to punish. So weighing the scales, well, you get this. Any person in their right mind would choose to use your moves in a normal combo string. It's just flat out better. Hell, I could even go farther than that. Since you need to use a ragdoll to have any kind of chance at winning World Slash, you also lose out on everything you could get from that ragdoll, whether it be the combo I just showed or domain expansion. You're losing out on so much from trying to use this move that you're better off ignoring it if your goal is to win. But this is Jujutsu shenanigans, and unless you're unranked, winning isn't always the goal, right? That's where the final part of this video comes in, which is why CZ shouldn't try and fix this move or stress himself out over making it actually viable. And it's because the move works fine as a flashy gimmick that you use for fun with friends rather than for any practical purpose, kind of like Hollow Purple Nuke, but slightly worse. Jujutsu Shenanigans is ultimately a game about chaotic fun, and your goal isn't always to get kills. It's more so just to pull off whatever cool stuff you want to pull off. World Slash can be that, a fancy little flex move you pull on people that you want to make fun of. Having the move be like that, rather than being actually useful, is perfectly fine, since Tsukuna can work without it. It doesn't need to be useful for it to still be fun, and if it was useful, it might make Tsukuna overpowered. So it's a much safer option to just leave it in its current state. That's all I have to say about this move. It's terrible, but that's perfectly fine. This is an extra move, a gimmick that you can pull off for fun, which is what the game is made for. If it was a core part of the moveset, then there would be a reason for concern, but since it's a gimmick like Hollow Purple Nuke, it's fine being garbage, a move made for showing off rather than winning. If you found this discussion interesting for some reason, subscribe to my channel because I really love yapping about Roblox games. Other than that, leave a comment if you had any thoughts about this video, and I'll see you next time. I'm New Eternally, and have a good day.